Hi everybody, this is Miss Kim at the Clark County Public Library. Welcome to Yoga Storytime. Got a really good story for you guys today. It is called We Disagree. It's written and illustrated by Bethany Dini Merguaya. Okay, and we have permission from Simon & Schuster to share this story with you guys today. I really like this book. I think you guys will too. I like what it says inside. If you don't agree, you can't be friends. Can you? I think we're going to find out and we'll read this story, okay? Let's go ahead and do some stretches, get warmed up a little bit. Let's go ahead and rock the baby, okay? Left hand, left leg. Get your knee inside that elbow and your foot inside your other elbow. I'm just a gentle rock. All right. Left hand, left foot. Stretch that leg out there. Right hand right leg and get that baby in there another rock keep both sides of your bottom on the ground okay if this is kind of rough go ahead and put your leg out it doesn't matter you don't want it to hurt all right right hand right foot nice stretch very good so let's do some side stretches okay hands out in front clasp your fingers flip them inside out Raise them to the sky. Deep breath in and over. Back up. Breathe out. Up. Over. Up. And over. Very good. Let's go ahead and see what this story is all about. We disagree. Hello, hello. Do you like figs? Oh, no, I don't. I snack on twigs. Do you like blue with polka dots? No, I like red. I don't like spots. Do you like newts and toads and frogs? No way. I just like prairie dogs. Do you like warm and sunny skies? I prefer gray. Sun hurts my eyes. Do you like skates? Do you like bikes? I don't like wheels. I'd rather hike. You must like flutes, guitars, and drums. No, no, and no. I'd rather hum. Hum, hum, get dum. What's wrong with blue? What's wrong with frogs? Well, what's wrong with gray and prairie dogs? We don't agree. We can't be friends. There's nothing more. This is the end. Yes, I agree. Wait, what did you say? What happens next? We just agreed. I'm quite perplexed. We're not the same. Indeed, that's true. Agreed again, but why choose blue? Well, blue is sea and blue is sky, but red is leaves and cherry pie. Hey, let's disagree more. Let's disagree, yes. Do you like friends? I'll let you guess. The end. So it's a story of a mouse and a prairie dog and what they do and do not have in common. So I've got put together a little um, yogi dance of opposites, okay? Because I kind of like the idea of opposites. Let's go ahead and start with cat-cat. That's what I thought about first, okay? So let's get in our tabletop position, all right? Your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. And we do the cat, we arch our back up towards the sky, right? And drop your head just like that. Nice deep breaths to do the cow. You're going to drop your belly towards the ground and your head towards the sky. Deep breath. Let's do a few of those. Ready? One more. Okay. 
for the next pose, I have, we'll do the boat pose. Guys, we just did this not too long ago. Okay, lean back a little bit. Put your legs up parallel to the ground. Your arms are out there too. And we are a boat. You're looking down between your toes. That's pretty good. And when I think of the opposite of a boat position, I'm thinking downward dog. Because now our feet and hands aren't in the air. They are all on the ground. All right. So again, hands below your shoulders. Okay. Your feet are about hips width apart, and you're just going to stretch. And now you're looking between your feet again. All right. That's kind of the opposite of a boat. All right. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and get in your forward fold. So you're just going to move your feet a little closer together. All right. Bring your hands up to your feet. You can hug your elbows if you like. Forward fold. And then slowly, slowly, slowly roll up to a nice, straight, tall belt. Nice deep breath there. Let's fold over one more time. And do that again, because it really feels good. All right? Now have in your elbows a slow roll up. Arms up to the sky. And a deep, deep breath. to the ground again we're going to go into a plank position you guys remember this you're kind of like on your toes your hands below your shoulders once again and your back is as straight as you can be and hold this for as long as you can some people can do it for like 10 seconds or 20 sometimes more whatever you can do all right that's all we need to do and then if we flip flop that we do a backward plank all right so now everything's facing towards the sky. All right, hands behind your shoulders and just lift your body up. Tip your head back, hold that again. Don't hurt yourself. Whatever you can do is great. And now slowly put your bottom on the ground, flat on your back, hug your knees. And you probably already guessed what is next, right? If we flip-flop this, we will end up in our child's pose because it's time to wind down. Sit on your heels, bend forward, stretch your arms out, and take some nice calming breaths. Forehead on the ground. Everything is flat on the ground. If you have a yoga buddy, grab your yoga buddy. All right, left hand on your heart. Nice deep breaths from the bottom of your feet all the way up. Ready? Close your eyes. Is your yoga buddy going up and down? More deep breath. All right. If you are ready, open up your eyes and roll to the side. Sit up nice and straight. So what do you think about this book? Pretty good, right? I looked up the word disagree in the dictionary. It says to have or express a different opinion. It doesn't say one person is right and one person is wrong. It doesn't matter. Miss Alyssa there likes hot chocolate. I like tea. Does that mean we can't be friends? We can, of course, be friends, right? So go ahead and practice these poses, all right? Um, just, just have fun with it, all right? And I'll see you guys next time. Namaste.